hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to learn about how to use actionable messages in outlook with power automate power automate makes it easy to send actionable messages to microsoft teams but did you know that you can send actionable messages via email from your user account from your power automate flow and get a response this process involves two flows the first sends an actionable message and the second receives the result here in this video we are going to see how we can set up this powerful scenario but before that here is a short intro right now i am in one of my developer environment that is dev 1986 and what i wanted to do is i have to navigate to the outlook.office.com slash connector slash oam slash publish url and uh, once we are in this action email developer dashboard we want to create a new provider provide some friendly name like testing actionable items and provider id and developer info will be auto populated uh, we need to provide the sender email address from which the actionable emails will originate right now i am adding my email address that is sigur.dave and to we need to enter the target urls this url is going to be the url which is going to be invoked by the actions from the message card so whenever the we uh, a user presses any type of buttons like submit or reset buttons this particular url is going to be um, invoked right and uh, everything else can be done and for the scope of submission section we can select test user organization or global for now i am selecting the organization option and i am the uh, global administrator for this my tenant so that i will receive an email whenever a new request has been approved uh, sent for the approval for the uh, new actionable email message let me just go and click on save and it will provide me the please enter valid one or more unique urls so to do that we have to create one power automate flow first and copy the url from there so let me just do that so right now I am logging into my Power Automate uh, uh, environment and uh, I am going to create one new flow and that is going to be an instant cloud flow because I am going to use uh, some type of uh, validation or some type of actions to show you how we can use it without doing much things let me just add one more HTTP receive when HTTP request is received action and one more trigger as simple for now compose for now I am adding the compose only and save this okay sorry it should have some things here as an input once the flow has been saved so let me provide it name as x enable outlook item okay uh, so if you open this when a HTTP request is received it is having one post URL generated we have to copy this URL and paste it in this particular section as a target URL now I can click on save and it should save successfully as you can see it is having some pending approval in here and I am the administrator for this particular environment so I should receive one email like a request has been submitted to enable X enable message from the provider and its name so if I go and click on this view submission I can see in that same details in here and I can click on approve or decline right now I'm clicking on approve so my X enable email uh, is approved and as you can see in the email it is also sending me the message like submission is has been approved okay so now the next step to do is we have to go in the uh, adaptive card designer adaptive card designer 
to design our adaptive card which we want to send in as an outlook email right to to save some time i have already created one adaptive card design let me just go copy and paste it here what it will look like is something like this okay takes two minutes to help us to plan the upcoming Radisson Hilton, SharePoint Downtown, WP and this okay but it has a typo in here so it should be like instead of this it should be like this suggestions value yes okay so now what I can do is I just copy this and before moving ahead what I will do is what I have to do in this case is replace two things one is this URL of my flow and another thing is that organization ID from my approved actionable messages so this is my provider ID okay I can go in here and at the bottom I have to paste it in here okay cut this part so right now I am in adaptive card designer and it's and uh, to save time I have copied one adaptive card uh, this uh, one adaptive card JSON and paste it in here there are two things which we have to replace in this particular uh, JSON is that URL flow ID this is the flow URL so this is the URL which uh, for the flow which we have already generated so let me just go into the my flows actionable outlook item click edit and then copy this URL and paste it in this place and another thing which we have to replace is on this originator ID and that can be captured from this provider ID ID is an origin originator ID okay so our JSON is ready and uh, you can also see the the output how our uh, actionable adaptive card will be displayed in the next section what we have to do is we have to go in our power automate flow and in this compose section instead of uh, the input we have the inst instead of this body we have to put all the json format which we have just copied right in here as you can see and the next step would be to uh, uh, add another compose action in here compose and this will have a special so this is our compose too and this will have some special as an input tag is this we have to add this and this compose output will be our output while working on this particular scenario so in this compose too what we have to do is instead of adding this single line we have to uh, adds the HTML head tag right this is the output and uh, we have to copy it from here to here if we don't add this head and HTML tags then the adaptive card will not be displayed in our outlook email okay so this is how our input for the second compose will look and finally in the send an email action the third action which we want to add is send an email v2 and uh, in this particular email we want to add some to whom we want to send an email like I want to send one of my colleagues Pratik Chotai what I want to add as a subject let's say testing actionable outlook adaptive cards and in the body we don't have to write it direct in here but we need to go and switch to the uh, uh, option for the HTML that is a code view and here after this we have to add our 
output from our second compose this one okay that's it you now have an actionable message that can be sent and respond to let's save this and uh, let's taste this and to do and to taste this what we have to do is we have to copy this and open uh, postman and then add a post request URL to this and click send so as you can see my email has been uh, this API call has found as you can see there is one email it is an actionable outlook adaptive card and if I select any of the value and click on submit the action has been completed successfully right now we have the same URL of the, our same uh, flow and that's why it's sending the message again but we can have the different uh, power automate flow to receive the results i hope you have enjoyed watching this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries and i will reply to them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to the sharepoint guy channel to learn more